What do you really need to know about your used batteries, e-waste, lights, and aerosol cans? To begin with, they are part of a group of materials referred to as universal waste. Universal waste is a subset of hazardous waste and includes the following. Batteries Electronic devices Mercury-containing devices Lights Televisions, computer monitors, and other displays CRT glass, which are CRTs that are broken or processed for recycling. Aerosol cans that are not empty. Each category of universal waste listed above has specific storage requirements that are intended to prevent leaking, breakage, and or releases. Storage containers must be labeled for universal waste, which includes the storage start date. Currently, only about 16% of e-waste is recovered and recycled or disposed of which means the other 84% is going to landfill. Even though e-waste only makes up 2% of our waste stream, it accounts for 70% of hazardous waste in landfills. There are approximately 3 billion batteries disposed of annually, with nearly all of them containing some heavy metal contaminant like lead, mercury, cadmium, lithium, or nickel. Dirty waste items like these are going into our soil and waterways, which led to legislation as we have it today. Businesses can face huge fines for not properly storing and disposing of their waste, and often must coordinate with multiple vendors to remain in compliance and keep prohibited materials from entering the waste stream. The California Attorney General and County District Attorneys have filed lawsuits for alleged hazardous and universal waste violations by large companies with many facilities statewide, with penalties ranging ranging from a minimum of $25,000 to $100,000 per day per violation, these lawsuits have resulted in multi-million dollar settlements.